This is a gold farm in Minecraft Bedrock. It involves some very light redstone and a couple of pistons with mechanics using powdered snow and lava to basically force pigment to spawn instantly. And this is currently the only gold farm we have on the server. This gold farm is owned by Skits King. Today, we're going to be making our own gold farm, but not just any gold farm. We're making a super mega gold farm. And I do mean mega, guys. This thing is going to be huge. Let me go ahead and run down the list for you guys okay we're going to be making a gold farm using 30 portals you see that right there that's one portal we're making 30 of those it's going to have a drain system with two trident killers because it's just going to be way too many portals to have one trident killer a super smelter as well as the automatic storage system and a health status to show us the health of the farm that way we know what's going wrong today we have our work cut out for us so yeah i'm pretty excited in the last video, we actually made this custom terrain area. It looks, it looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I really, really like the way it looks. Uh, but we're gonna have to probably build this gold farm right behind these mountains, which I built. And uh, well, we already have the mob farm back here. So we're going to have to pick a new location for the gold farm. And I'm thinking maybe like over there somewhere. That should work pretty well since the mountains are covering the majority of this side. So yeah, I think we have our location picked out. I might change it up, but for now, that doesn't seem too bad. This farm is going to have 30 portals. So we're going to need approximately 2,880 pieces of obsidian, which equals out to about 45 stacks of obsidian. That's going to be just about two shulker boxes. And we're gonna need even more glass than that. So this is going to be a pretty hefty project. So I know my videos are usually pretty laid back and I kind of get stuff done, but because this is such a big project, we're kind of we're gonna be kind of moving fast because uh, this video is going to be long anyways. I'm pretty sure if I'm moving fast, this video is probably still gonna reach around the 15 to 20 minute area. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get things started. First things first, we have a beacon, guys. We have a beacon, which is going to be very, very useful for getting the obsidian out of the end because we have to collect a lot of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this beacon into the end and start collecting a bunch of obsidian. And after about, I wanna say two hours, we finally got enough obsidian to build the portals. We have about two shulker boxes, like I said, which is going to be enough for all 30 portals. And just like that, we are right back in the overworld. Now we can start gathering sand for all the glass we're gonna be needing. So I gotta go find a mining desert to get a bunch of sand. Now I just flew over my mountain into the iron farm and I got a gift from little gamer or, or light, light, light little gamer. What do we have here? Aqua affinity. I actually really needed this because I want to be doing a lot of stuff that involves water. So I'm actually very, very glad that I got this now. Oh, it only costs three. Wow. Nice. Now all I need is respiration and I have a fully maxed helmet. Thank you very much, little gamer. Look what I found. I don't have a treasure map at all. I just found a chest in here. Got some cake, got a heart of the sea, I'll take that. Potion of water breathing, that can come in handy in the future. We got some TNT as well. Um, we got weight, not too shabby. I'm gonna take most of this stuff. You know, we'll go ahead and have some cake for the road. It's gonna have a bit of sand in it, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat some of that while I'm, uh, oh, can I make this float? <gasps> oh my God, I just broke my cake. All right guys, this should be enough sand. We have, uh, well, we have this chest full of sand and then we also have these two shulker boxes with sand and we gotta smelt it all down. So I'm gonna have to AFK for a bit. All right guys, so I AFK'd overnight at the mob farm slash iron farm slash mini smelter now and we got all the glass smelted down. So you're good to go. It's not in there actually, it's in here. Bam, we have another one there and another one here full of white stained glass. I like to use a stained glass just to make it a little bit easier to see and uh by the way we were afking here basically overnight and this thing is full of iron we're going to have to make the storage system pretty soon but it shouldn't be an issue because we have iron to make hoppers and that is usually the most expensive part but yeah all of these hoppers except these ones are like this one is basically completely full so yeah this iron farm is working very 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 well and keep in mind that we did just make a beacon with all of these yeah this iron yeah we have a lot of iron oh wrong pickaxe there we go. All right, but with that being said, we can go ahead and start on the building phase of the portals. So I'm going to hook up my third person camera and start building those. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, guys, after that short time lapse, we got a pretty epic looking farm so far. We get all the obsidian down. 
Uh, this is the spare obsidian I actually had left. It looks like we might have overestimated just a little bit of how much we need. I did say about a, I think I said about two sugar boxes, so we went a little bit over that. But for the most part, this is all finished. So now we can start the next part, which is going ahead and putting in the water system. So we're going to go ahead and start slapping in some glass down here. We're going to be using the glass to make the water system. And because of the terrain, I might have to dig a chunk of this mountain out and dig a bit down. Uh, only because this is, might get in the way in the long run but that's fine we have a beacon so that should be pretty easy and just like that we have all of the glass put in place for the collection system now usually this would probably take like 30 minutes for me to fill all in with water using a bucket but if you guys already know one of the easy ways to do this you can actually use ice just place it down and then break it and it turns the water instantly i don't really see a lot of people do this so this is like you know it's a little, little tip for you guys if you guys are trying to do any projects that involve a lot of water Alrighty, so we got the rest of this tunnel finished this should lead everything down here all the water up here is all finished so all we have to do now is just break this ice here and that should lead it right down to the middle which is going to be the two double trident killer area it's going to kill uh hopefully kill them twice as fast as usual because this farm actually has way too many pigment to only have one trident killer so we have to have two and they're going to go right here hopefully um so now we kind of have to make some trident killers and unfortunately i don't have any redstone things right now so i do have to make a run to grab a bunch of redstone materials all right guys so we have a shulker box here with just about everything we need we don't need diamonds i just left those in there by mistake but all this stuff we need all we're missing right now is slime blocks or slime so we can make sticky piston we just place some pistons oh not not that not that like this then we place some blocks i believe and here we also place observers and i forgot exactly which way these observers were supposed to face i think they're supposed to face like this maybe actually no i think it's this way now we just grab a dropper smack that right there and put a lever there and that should be able to turn it off nice perfect all we gotta do now is just add some waterlogged stairs i don't actually have a staircase rip that's fine though we can add that after we make the next one all right and now all we have to do is just add a uh, thing here waterlog that and that should yep push them all right here to this corner and that is going to allow the items to get funneled right through there and all we have to do now is just add a trap door there so the water doesn't flow through and we should be good we have the uh, water stream for all of the three or four technically streams of items going through um so we can go ahead and place in the kelp here and place in the soul sand which should be magma block <laughs> to actually push the uh, items up into a stackable or non-stackable item filter so uh, i'm just gonna go up here real quick place in this kelp we also do need to make some observer clocks so these actually are like constantly pushing items up i would make you know one of those clocks that have the comparator and stuff like that but to be honest there just really is no point uh, this is going to constantly be active, so I might as well just have two observers looking at each other forever. Those are going to always uh, make it go off. But let's see, we got that. Let's do this one, remove these, and then remove these. And now all we have to do is just add some soul sand down here, and it should push us up. Oh, that's wrong. Should push us, yep, right on up in all of these areas. Swim down here, do the same thing down here. Boom, boom. Nice items go up, and then right here as well. And wha bam, nice. We have that all set. We can go ahead and close this off, and that should filter all the items through. Now, um, I do want to test this because I feel like because of the weird way this is set up, they might not want to go through, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right, we made some observer clocks here. So let's see, these are all being activated. All we did was just have two of these guys looking at each other and it just keeps going on and on and on forever. So I'm gonna real quick go to sleep just to make sure that no mobs are going to try to blow up, specifically creepers try to blow my progress. But uh, yeah, so I think this should be good. So if we theoretically were to place some items, let's just say, in here let's place some in here this should hopefully all filter out right here so let's see so far so good is anything getting stuck oh, i think we're good but these are all going to run these hoppers i'm going to hook up chests here in a minute but i want to make sure this thing actually works so first things first we're gonna like start all the way from the base because i don't want to go super deep in this and end up finding out that something's wrong here so I'm gonna kill you real quick. Throw some of these guys in here, and we're gonna throw some of our tools in here as well, just to see if those go through. Okay, good, they're going up in there. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to add ice there. Well, that was a fail. Okay, there we go, this is extended now, so let's try it again. I'm gonna come up here, throw some blocks in here. 
some ice, some glass, my pickaxe, shovel, and let's see how this does now. Okay, so we got some items going in there. Is it pushing anything through? Yep, it's pushing the ice through now. Okay. We shouldn't see any tools go in there, although we might see a couple. Hopefully we don't though, because that was the whole point of making the sorter. I don't think I saw any. Alright, nice. So we got rid of those. We're going to see this really in more effect once we actually have the uh, portals on and all the mobs are dropping loot. But uh, it looks like these all should have went, yep, in here, in this hopper. Very, very nice. Where's that ice? Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Ice is in there. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Why, why? Okay, so we got all of the modules here installed. We have the actual things that make them turn on fire and actually light up installed. And we also have a lever that we can flick that will activate all of these. So you guys see those pistons there. If I flip this lever, all those pistons extend and that goes for all 30 portals. So now all we have to do is just hook up the trident killer and then install the lava and the powdered snow. And this thing is basically done. I'm currently in my creative testing world where I already built this farm. And as you guys can see, if I hit these guys, bam, one time, they die instantly. This is Impelling 5. I don't think they die instantly with Impelling 4, so we need Impelling 5 to have that maximum death speed, which is going to really speed up the farm because too many pigmen, like, too many pigmen are in here. So, like, if we throw this in here, just clear it out real quick because there are so many guys in here. There we go. Just, just clear that out. And then throw this. Okay, jeez, Mobi, these guys are just everywhere in here. Yeah, it's just not a chance. Like, this clearly shows just how bad this really is. Alright guys, so the farm is completely finished. This thing works amazingly. We uh, AFK'd overnight and we got a lot of gold. Went ahead and crafted it down to gold blocks. Oh wow, wait, hold on. Oh, see, even more gold nuggets in there. But yeah, we have a lot of gold blocks already. We have some more ingots in here. This thing is working really well. What I went ahead and did is I got rid of all this and just made a regular sort of system and I gotta say it works like way better. There are absolutely no problems. A sword or rotten flesh has never gotten to any of these chests. They always get burned every time. And I can easily make a uh, rotten flesh thingamabob and then let all the swords go into a furnace or a super smelter. So I can definitely do that. I'm not going to do that in today's video though because we already ran this one up. It actually might be around the 30 minute mark for this video let's like cut it down quite a bit i'm probably gonna cut it down because i don't want to make a super long video but yeah we already are going in pretty big with this one but here is the item sorter for this i have two for the golden nuggets and two for the golden ingots and then everything else goes right past there into the lava this is like way way better and just to show you guys how effective this is i'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and show you guys what it looks like when it runs in full speed got some xp so sitting here you guys can see i have 219 levels right now yeah, this thing is just absurd. Now, there is one small little issue, which is whenever I have these trident colors on, they don't like to stay on. You guys might see that I swapped out uh, the repeaters for pistons, and so far that is working a little bit better, but eventually this left one likes to just turn off by itself, which is kind of bad. So we're going to figure that out. I'm probably going to have to space them up like out because in my creative testing world, I didn't actually have them right next to each other like that. So there is a good chance I'm going to have to like space them but uh, yeah, other than that, it's working really well. You guys can see all the items flowing in very, very quickly, going right over there, and we can actually see them all burn, or all the ones that are supposed to burn. You should never really see any golden ingots or nuggets through here at all. Like, there has never been one time that I've seen something go wrong in this so far. So yeah, I'm very, very happy, and just in case if all of our chests get filled uh, and they start to back up, then it's going to go into this hopper which has an overflow protection system to immediately start deleting all the extra gold to make sure that the storage system doesn't get too full and start, you know, messing up the hoppers and um, repeaters and stuff. But yeah, everything's looking pretty good. And of course, we are collecting all the XP. So if I was to go right on up here, we have all the XP flowing right to the middle. And I can collect all of this and well, bam, we got more XP. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, guys, I had a lot of fun building this farm. If you guys did enjoy today's video, Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I got a really, really big episode for the next one. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and understanding always.